Hey guys, what is happening? This is Sly Fox, and today I have a top five video for you. Today's top five is going to be top five video game soundtracks. Now, this is in no way a definitive list. If you want something like that, you can definitely go on Wikipedia or this or that, and you can find a top 50 list of something like that. But this is my personal top five. These are soundtracks that I love. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, coming in at number five is Rezogun. Now this is a really awesome game. If you haven't played it, I suggest you do. It's on PlayStation 4. The composer for this game is Ari Pilkinen. This guy is Finnish, which means he's from Finland, but also he's done some pretty famous stuff. He's done Trine and Trine 2. I believe one of those was free if you had PlayStation Plus a while ago. But another song you might know is the Angry Birds theme. At number four, we have Red Dead Redemption. Now there are a couple of cool things about this game. One, it was scored by Bill Elm and Woody Jackson. Now this score has been compared to the Dollars trilogy, also known as the Man With No Name trilogy. Clint Eastwood, a fistful of dollars for a few dollars more, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you get it, you've seen it. If you wanna feel like you're in a Western, I mean, you can play this game. But if you don't have the means to play this game, listen to this soundtrack. Number three. Now at number three, we have a special game. A special game in my heart, I'm sure it's a special game in your heart, and it is Skyrim. If you've ever played Skyrim, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, maybe go on YouTube, maybe go on iTunes, I don't know. Find the soundtrack, and you will absolutely love it. Now, Skyrim was scored by Jeremy Soule. He also did Elder Scrolls Online, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Guild Wars. He's been called the John Williams of video game composers. Not only that, but he also did The Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, that's right. Coming in at number two, we have Journey. Journey was composed by Austin Wintory. Now this guy has had multiple outings with the people who made Journey, that game company. He's also done Flow with them. But on top of that, he's also done The Order, 1886, and Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, one thing that I think is really cool about this soundtrack is that when he was writing it, it went in sequential order. So when he got to the end of the game, that was the most current stuff. So he did go back and check out things that were at the beginning and tried to edit him a little bit, but he kept most of it the same because he liked how naive and innocent it was and how it was its own kind of emotional arc. And at number one, yeah, that's right. It's Mario. Don't judge me. You knew this was coming. Now, this is one of six themes in this game, and this one is called Above Ground BGM, or Overworld Theme. All of these songs were written by Koji Kondo, and believe it or not, this was the most difficult song to write, according to him. This song is so popular and so catchy, it was on the top 10 download list for ringtones 112 weeks in a row as of November 2004 in the United States. Not only that, but it sold approximately 747,900 copies in the United States in 2006. Alright guys, that's it. Top 5 video game soundtracks. What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. Like it if you liked it. You can subscribe if you're feeling that generous. And we'll have more videos like this in the future, so pay attention. Stay tuned. This has been Sly Fox.